I've spoken many times about the importance of our First Amendment freedoms, our commitment to the open discussion of ideas is one reason why America has been successful. Unfortunately, it's become increasingly difficult to have these conversations and open discussions in our universities. It seems like every week we hear new stories about speakers being shouted down or new limits being placed on academic freedom. That's why alumni, alumni need to speak up. And so this, my remarks today are about an organization called the Alumni Free Speech Alliance. Anyone who sees a radically different school than they graduated from needs to be willing to say so. Today, I highlight the work of this organization, repeating their name again, the Alumni Free Speech Alliance. This group was created by graduates of several colleges who noticed that their alma maters were becoming more hostile to freedom of speech and academic freedom wasn't being followed. The, Alliance, the Alumni Free Speech Alliance partnered with organizations of alumni at each of their former colleges to pool their resources. By working with those who support open discourse, they hope to make it easier to create these alumni groups at more colleges and grow the ones that exist. They are right that alumni are often best suited to speak out about illiberalism on our campuses. It is understandably hard for students and faculty to speak out about the atmosphere of intolerance they live and work in. You know, they're shamed, embarrassed, all of those things that are tools that shouldn't be used in any university that brags about academic freedom. So that's where the alumni come in. Alumni can have an outsized voice in this uh, atmosphere of lack of tolerance at some of our universities. This is one reason why I recently joined the Senate Campus Free Speech Caucus. This Senate Caucus aims to bring together members who are interested in defending the rights of students on college campuses. In addition, I was proud to co-sponsor the campus free speech resolution, which urges greater First Amendment protection at public universities. Just as with private alumni, Senators need to be willing to speak out and shine a light when students' rights are being infringed. I've heard countless examples of universities putting an emphasis on superficial definitions of diversity that focus only on physical characteristics. The benefit of having people from different backgrounds is that they bring different viewpoints. But that whole concept of diversity is turned on its head if only one point of view is ever allowed to be spoken. Universities do a disservice to their students if they just tamp down any idea that their loudest activists disagree with. Colleges should be places of debate and discussion, not enforced intellectual rigidity. Alumni need to be willing to speak out about these issues because too often people that are on that campus can't. My definition of a university that I've used throughout a lifetime is it's, it's a place where controversy runs rampant. It's a place where we ought to have civil 
discussions, respecting each other's points of view. I don't know how many of my colleagues run into what I run into too often at, in Iowa at my town meetings. People proudly stand up and say, you know, there's two things I never talk about, religion and politics. Well, if you're a religious person and God is going to have an impact on your life, why shouldn't you be willing to discuss that? You may be discussing with a Baptist and a Catholic or with an atheist and with a Baptist or a Christian. Why shouldn't you be able to discuss that in a civil way? Because it's important to your life. And we all know the role of big government in our society and we know the principles of representative government, why shouldn't you be able to talk about politics, Republicans and Democrats, or socialists and communists versus conservatives, or whatever the case might be? You ought to be able to do it in a civil way, disagreement. And it's the same way on the university campuses. I yield.